write the following logarithms as a single logarithm. So to do this, we need to use properties of logarithms. So let's recall those properties we have at our disposal. We've said that the log base b of m times n is the log base b of m plus the log base b of n, and that the log base b of m over n is equal to the log base b of m minus the log base b of n. And we've also said that the log base b of m to the nth power is equal to n times the log base b of m. So now let's use these properties of logarithms to write these expressions with a single logarithm. Now to do that, what we generally want to do is, when we have these logarithmic, logarithmic expressions, we want to use that third property to take any coefficients and write them as exponents. So looking at this first example, I have a 4 times the log base 2 of a, and I have a 2 times the log base 2 of b. So I can rewrite this then as the log base 2 of 7 plus the log base 2 of a to the fourth plus the log base 2 of b to the second. And now what I see is I have several additions. I have additions between logarithms with the same base. And so I can rewrite that as the log base 2 and of a single quantity 7 times a to the fourth times b to the second. In exercise b, using a similar idea, I have several coefficients that I will rewrite using exponents. So I have the natural log of 4x to the second plus the natural log of z to the third minus the natural log of y to the fifth. Now 4x to the second can be simplified. So I have the natural log of 16x squared plus the natural log of z to the third minus the natural log of y to the fifth. Simplifying this first part, natural log of 16x squared plus the natural log of z to the third, and using the fact that there's an addition there, I have the natural log of 16x squared z cubed minus the natural log of y to the fifth. And finally, using the fact that there's a subtraction, I can rewrite that using a division. So natural log of 16x squared z cubed over y to the fifth. In exercise C, we have 1 half log base 5, I'm sorry, log of 5 plus 7 halves log of A minus 3 halves log of C. So the first thing I would notice here is we have all of those 1 halves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out that 1 half. So I have 1 half of log 5 plus 7 log A minus 3 log C. Now looking at the remaining coefficients, that's 7 and 3, I can rewrite those as exponents on the arguments of the logarithm. So I have 1 half of log 5 plus log of a to the seventh minus log of c to the third. We have an addition of logarithms, so I can write that as a single logarithm of their product. 1 half of log of 5a to the seventh minus log of c to the third. And I have the subtraction, and so I can rewrite that as a single logarithm with a quotient. So I now have 1 half 
of log 5a to the 7th over c to the 3rd. Now, I have a logarithm and I have a coefficient in front. So that coefficient in front I can rewrite as an exponent on the logarithm. So that's the log of 5a to the 7th c to the 3rd raised to the 1 half power. And now finally, if we remember from a previous exercise, in general, the square root of x is the same as x to the 1 half power. So taking that in reverse, I can rewrite this as the log of the square root of 5a to the 7th over c to the 3rd.